Hey there, Jules of Guitar Jules here and welcome back for another guitar lesson. So from the demo you've just seen, you will know, and probably from the title, that this is a Steve Vai themed lead guitar lesson. So I've taken four or five of Steve Vai's coolest licks, I've made them my own, I've adopted them if you like, and put them over the jam track that we actually used from last week, which is in a kind of A Dorian key. So there's a lot of scope here, the solo is using a pentatonic, uh, it's using the blues scale, it's using the Dorian scale, major pentatonic if you like, uh, and also there's a little bit of um, melodic minor in there. So what we'll do, we'll move into a close up, we will break these licks down uh, one at a time. If you want the tab and the jam tracks and you want to play along, just head over to Patreon where you can get all that jazz. Okay, let's crack on. Okay, so the first lick idea, I took a lick that Steve Vai plays in a Shy Boy, which is a really nice kind of super fast descending pattern. And what I've done is I've put it over this rhythm and I've taken this kind of mix of major pentatonic and minor pentatonic, if you like. Uh, you could see parts of it as a Dorian as well. So when we're playing blues, you may or you may not know, but to get that really cool sound, we kind of... A lot of players will bounce between the minor third and the major third. So normal blues, minor. You get that kind of sound. I know I've got a lot of distortion on here. Um, that was for the guitar solo. I hope it's not too off-putting. When we add that major, we get that more kind of seventh blues sound. So that's what I've done here. So I've taken this idea and I've put it To this bluesy idea. So we start with a pull off 15 to 12. Then we use that major and minor third idea from uh, A minor and A major pentatonic. I slide down to the 10 and I catch that G. Yeah, then I begin the idea again. I pull off 13 to 10 on the B string. Yeah. Finishing on that major third. Now here's where it gets a little bit funky. We use that idea again. And then we go into this just normal A minor pentatonic idea, but I drop down to an A flat and bend it straight up to A. So we get this. Not that at all. So that last lick. I'm bouncing over there on the 10th fret. Then I use this kind of odd idea, which you can see is a mix of A major pentatonic or A major scale and uh, A blues scale or you can see it as part of melodic minor. It just gives it that really weird outside sound that Steve Vai often gets. Not one of our licks, you know? Just kind of, there's a couple of licks in here that are just making up the space. So our next lick is an idea uh, kind of taken from the Attitude, uh, the Attitude song, which is off of Flexible. And we have this. Anyone that knows Steve Vai's playing will know that kind of sliding. Sliding in fifths, you know? Sorry. This kind of idea. So we're going from 10 to 12 on the A string. Then I hit 14 on the D. 12 to 14 on the D, 16 on the G. 14, 16 on G. 19 on the B string. And then just this bluesy idea. Double stops. Yeah. 17 to 19. And then I have this. 
Now this is just a bluesy idea, kind of Steve I, Joe Satriani idea. But the lick that I was trying to emulate here was just this very simple that Steve I plays in Tobacco Road, which I think was off of Eaton and Smile. Yeah? So we... Little mixed blues idea there. Yeah, so that's 17, 19, 21, pulling off to 17. Then we've got 20 to 17. We play that idea twice and then just this pentatonic. Yeah. Now into a lick, I took the idea from the song Bump and Grind, which I think is also um, Eatman Smile album. Now all we're doing here is we're tapping and we're playing legato through an A mixolydian scale, which fits really nicely over a kind of A7. So the rhythm here is actually ambiguous because we're pretty much using an A power chord. And because we're playing in Dorian, we can kind of play around with that feel of being in between major and minor. Or having them mixed, which would create a kind of Dorian sound as well. Yeah, so, that's why A mixolydian fits so nicely. So all we're doing we're playing that part of the mixolydian scale. We're not going down to the A string. I thought I would just show you that. So we hammer on Yeah, 14 15 17. Then I tap onto 19. Then, uh, some people will hammer on from nowhere here. I like to just pick with the, um, the spectrum <laughs> before I begin the phrases, just to make sure that that note's very clear, especially the first note. So, then we go down instead of up. Up, tap. Yeah, same idea as we move over to 16, 14, and 12. But I'm then tapping on the 18. So we're all on 19 apart from this one. And on the last one, we just slide down to 7 and then back up to 14 and 16. So we have this slowly. Not that. And then we go into this really cool lick, which evaded me for years, which is from um, the classic battle scene between Jack Butler, was it, and uh, Daniel Sun, I can't remember his name, Ralph Macchio, the actor, can't remember what his name was in the movie, but great movie, Crossroads. And that is... Now this lick's exact, uh, except, uh, blah, 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 except I think it was in D minor. Uh, in the film, and this is kind of the final lick where Steve Vai, um, Steve Vai's character Jack Butler, kind of throws the guitar in uh, Karate Kid's face and destroys him with some face melting licks. In the end, he does lose. I don't want to spoil the plot or give anything away. One of the coolest blues licks ever. So we are. 14, 13, 12, raking across. So we're playing there with the Dorian scale. As we hit that 14 or that F sharp. Yeah, again slowly. Now this is the bit that evaded me. There's a really fast slide in it that kind of messes up your timing for the next bit, which is... Yeah. 
mix it all together to get the, the timing, if you like, the phrasing. And then at the end, I think, depending on which take I took. I messed around with some ideas like this. Okay, so that was our Steve Vai themed guitar lesson. Uh, licks to take off Steve Vai and use for your own or to kind of make your own and put into your own playing. Fantastic player. Hope you enjoyed it and I shall see you next week for some more guitar stuff.